Okay, I've erased the backgrounds out of all of my layers for my um, cycle that I'm going to do here. And I erased all of these layers. And on the first layer, I did a, 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 a um, quick mask. Um, but regardless, they're all been erased in sequence and so, um, or masked. And so I want to do a couple of things to improve this animation. Um, one thing I want to do is I want to use a different background instead of this, this um, just colored background. So what I might do is make a new layer here. All right. So now I've got a new layer down here at the bottom. I uh, had the bottom layer selected and I just clicked the new layer icon, made layer 18. And I'm going to check to see how big this image is. Right now, this image we're here, I'm going to go to um, image, image size, and I can see it's 393 wide, 288 tall. Okay, I'm going to cancel. And I've got this other image here, and I'll say image, image size, and I'll say I'll make it 400. Then it's not quite tall enough, so I'll say 2. 85 at the bottom here. Okay, constrained proportions is on. Resample image is checked. So we're going to resample our image to 428 by 285, resolution 72. Click OK. And I've just got this photo of this parking lot. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this photo over to this other image. Or I could just copy and paste it. So, um, Let's see here, let's copy and paste it. So I'll get the selection tool here, drag a selection box, no feathering, and I'll do a control C. And then I'll go back here and I'm on the layer that I want to paste it in. And I'll do paste. And now you can see that I have this image on the background. Now my image is a little too small. So I'm going to stretch it out a little bit so it fits. So I'll go to Edit, Free Transform, and then just drag this down a little bit. All right, and then hit Enter to make it take. So now the, um, now the, the baboon can walk across this parking lot. Of course, walk in place, that is. Now, if I want to, I could add some effects to these, um, to these baboons that I have. For instance, I could go to this top one. And if I wanted to, this is the top one that's showing right now. And I could say image adjustments hue saturation, right? And I could click colorize. And I could take the saturation way up. And now I've got this, um, you know, red baboon. Click OK. Then I could turn that off. If I wanted to, I could even put an outer glow on it or something like that. Um, I'll go to the other one, the one below it, turn that on, turn this one off, the eyeball that is, and do the same thing to this one. Image adjustments, hue saturation, colorize, raise up the saturation, and then maybe change the hue, right? So now I've got a yellow one. So I've got a yellow one, and then I have a red one. And when this plays, the colors will cycle and it'll look pretty cool. So I'll go to the next one, same thing. Image, adjustments, hue saturation, colorize, take up the saturation, and then pick another color on the, on the scale. Now, if I also want to, I talked something about putting in a uh, drop shadow or outer glow or something like that. If I wanted to, I could do that on each layer. So on this layer, I could say effects, and I could say outer glow, and I could take up the spread a little bit and the size so that it has a kind of an outer glow to it, right? And just click OK. And now if I want to, I could do the same thing on this layer. I could just say Effects, Outer Glow. And what I want to do is just maybe copy this, see if I can copy and paste this Outer Glow to the other one. Let's see if how we could do that here. Um, and and look, it just transferred itself. That was pretty good. Or it, it actually moved itself. I don't know if that transferred it. 
No, I just didn't do that. Let's see here. Shift Alt. There we go. Hold down the Shift key uh, or the Control Alt key and drag it. If you hold down the Control key and the um, Alt key together and you click on the effects and just drag them, they'll jump from one layer to the other. So now you can see each one of my layers has the same exact effect on it and that's pretty cool. If you want to save space you just click here and that will raise up the effects so you don't see them. Okay and alright okay so now I can see all my layers. Now another thing that I've done is I've turned on all of the eyeballs for all of the layers, right? Including this background. I'm going to turn off the the um, solid color background layer that I don't need, but I've got this one, this background that I do want. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say, okay, window animation. All right? And then it gives me a timeline for my animation right and you can see that it's got each layer color down here with a background starting at let's see here starting at one two okay that matches and the third one's purple and then at the top let's see here at the end, now I cannot see at the end here, I'm seeing all of the um, layers and I'm not seeing my outer glows. So that's, that's problematic. So on frame one, we'll just go to frame one here. Um, my background layer needs to move up. So I'm going to move that up. Okay, I've I've I used the keys on the keyboard to I've got my selection tool and I've clicked on the background layer and then I use the arrows on my keyboard to move the background up and down. Okay, so that's what I just did there. Okay, and I'm not seeing the outer glow here. So, and I'm not quite sure why maybe the outer glow is just not taking as far as um, maybe that's not allowed to take. Let's see if we can get it back. Uh, outer glow. Okay, there it is. And I wanted to raise that up a little bit and then raise up the size a little bit and click OK. Well, and there it is. It's back. So that was strange when we went to animation and it just disappeared like that. But, oh well, I've got it back now. So that's what I want on frame one. Now on frame two, I click on frame two, right? And you can see the eyeball for the first layer turned off and this eyeball went back on. And that's what I want on flare, layer two. And see layer one has an outer glow, layer two doesn't. I want that outer glow on layer two. So maybe by hand, I'm going to need to do this each time. So I'll just say outer glow and raise up my screen a little bit, raise up the size a little bit, and then click OK. So that's what, la that's what frame two is going to look like. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on each frame in my animation and make sure the right layers are selected, the eyeballs and the outer glows are selected, and then at the end I'll have an animation. So we'll go to three, click on frame three in my movie. You can see here the right layers are selected. It's okay if this bottom layer is on because we won't see it because it's behind the background. And then what I can do is I can say effects, outer glow and raise up the spread a little bit. I'll take it to four and the size take it to and I must have the wrong layer selected because it's not working so I, uh, I do. So I need to have this layer selected when I put on the effect and say outer glow, raise up the spread, take that up and just click OK. Good enough. Alright, 
Now instead of clicking the next layer, what I want you to do is make sure you click the next frame. So it's difference here. As we click the different frames in our movie, you'll see the eyeballs on the layers change over here. And so that's how you're uh, coordinating the animation with the layers in your Photoshop file.